After talking about some unique engines like the Twingle engine and VCR, it's time to look at another engine with a unique design. This one is the Avidi MA250 engine. The Avidi MA250 engine is pretty impressive and has potential because it uses two crankshafts and two connecting rods arranged to support one piston. Why was this engine designed this way? To answer all your questions, let's take a closer look at this engine. We'll start with its design, advantages, disadvantages, and most importantly, the purpose of the Avidi MA250 engine. Without further ado, let's dive into the video to explore more about the Avidi MA250 engine. First, let's take a look at the cylinder. Why is this cylinder designed to rotate? The Avidi MA250 engine uses a design with rotating cylinders, achieved through the use of gears. Each crankshaft is equipped with a gear that is connected to a fixed ring gear attached to the outer casing of the engine. As the crankshaft rotates, this gear drives the inner casing, causing the entire cylinder to rotate. Also, the engine makes torque by using a shaft that's part of the cylinder. This means that the whole cylinder rotates at the same RPM as the engine. Before moving on to the next part, some of you might be wondering why gears are used. Here, Avidi claims that the use of gears allows for an increase in torque output. In this engine, there are two sets of gears, a small gear with 20 teeth and a large gear with 40 teeth, resulting in a two to one gear ratio. For example, if the input is 1000 revolutions per minute, the output on the large gear will be half or 500 revolutions per minute, but with twice the torque. For instance, if the input torque is 50 newton meters on the small gear, the output torque will be 100 newton meters on the large gear. Additionally, the application of a 2 to 1 gear ratio in this engine converts a 180 degrees crankshaft rotation into a 90 degrees cylinder rotation, making it more efficient in the engine's operational cycle process. Just like a regular engine, the Avidi engine runs on a four stroke cycle. Each time the camshaft turns, the crankshaft turns twice as fast. This means the engine operates as a four-stroke engine. On the other hand, if we look at the top of the engine, we won't find the valves you'd find in a conventional engine. The Avidi engine's valve system is pretty simple. It's got just three holes, one in the rotating inner cylinder and two in the stationary outer casing. When these holes line up, air can get in or out of the engine chamber. When they don't line up, the holes automatically close which shows that the compression and expansion processes are happening. This engine's got a simple valve system that doesn't need a big or heavy cylinder head structure, so it's lightweight and compact. For instance, the Avidi MA250 air-cooled engine with a capacity of 250 cc weighs around 10 kilograms, which is much lighter than conventional four-stroke engines of the same size. Despite the additional complexity in the lower engine components, this design enables simplicity and weight reduction in the upper parts, particularly in the valve system. This not only enhances engine efficiency, but also reduces production and maintenance costs. Thus, the Avidi MA250 engine demonstrates that innovation in crankshaft design and valve systems can yield a more efficient and lightweight engine. The Avidi engine has some pretty impressive anatomical benefits compared to conventional engines, but it also has its fair share of challenges. Let's take a closer look at the pros and cons of this engine and how it could be used in the future. The Avadi engine design strikes a better balance than conventional single cylinder designs. In a regular engine, the piston moves up and down at a steady pace, which creates forces that have to be balanced to stop the engine from shaking too much. Adding counterweight mass to the crankshaft can help, but it's not effective at every angle of rotation, especially at 90 degree and 270 degree. These actually induce lateral vibrations. The Avadi engine uses two crankshafts to ensure almost perfect balance, which is the opposite of what you get with a conventional engine. At the top and bottom dead center, each crankshaft's counterweight mass balances the piston. At 90 degrees and 270 degrees, the two counterweight masses balance each other out, which significantly reduces vibrations. What's more, Avadi's design actually reduces friction. 
In conventional engines, the combustion force pushes the piston down at a certain angle, which results in additional friction between the piston and the cylinder wall. This increases wear on one side of the cylinder wall. Meanwhile, in the Avity engine, its two connecting rods work together to cancel out opposing forces, keeping the piston stable and reducing friction and wear. The Avity engine has some anatomical advantages, but it doesn't perform as well as conventional engines. The 250cc air-cooled Avadi engine has 15.8 horsepower at 3,700 revolutions per minute and 30.2 newton meters of torque at 3,500 revolutions per minute. But they say the Avadi engine is twice as powerful with half the weight of the closest competitor. Of course, this claim needs to be tested further. To find a comparable competitor, let's compare it with the Honda GX270 engine. The GX270 engine is a bit bigger in terms of capacity and is also designed for power equipment. If we compare the stats and specs, it seems like Avadi's claim that their engine is twice as powerful with half the weight is pretty reasonable, unless you count accessories like the fuel tank. However, this isn't a fair comparison because the GX270 engine runs at a lower RPM. In addition, one of the main weaknesses of the Avadi engine is its valve system. In conventional engines, the entire cylinder port area is available for air intake. In the Avadi engine, only half of the area is available because the other half must remain closed to maintain pressure in the cylinder. This reduces airflow efficiency and overall engine performance. The Avadi engine is also not easily designed in a multi-cylinder configuration. Because its cylinders rotate, it is not possible to stack multiple cylinders on a single crankshaft as in conventional designs. For example, a four-cylinder Avity engine would require eight rods, eight crankshafts, and 12 large gears, making it very complex and expensive. Therefore, this engine is only practical for single-cylinder applications up to about 800 cc. The Avity engine may not be suitable for automotive applications, whether four-wheeled or two-wheeled, such as conventional cars and motorcycles, due to its inadequate performance and high cost. However, this engine has potential in very specific applications, such as military drones or UAVs, considering that a lightweight and compact design is crucial for drones, even though they do not require high performance or long-term durability. The Avadi motor has an innovative design with several significant advantages in terms of balance and friction reduction. However, its limited power and inability to scale will limit its applications. The greatest potential for this engine may be in military applications, particularly in the development of lightweight and compact drones. Well, that's all we can explain about the Avadi MA250 engine in this video. As usual, if any of you have any questions or would like to add or make suggestions, just write them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.